Hi guys, welcome back to Highland Ridge Aviation. And earlier in my previous my previous video, I said I was going to show you an assembly on this cub. Um, so right now, on this wing, um, one of my little uh, plastic things come out where my screw goes. So I'm going to glue that in real quick while I, while I explain some stuff. Um, so. On this particular airplane, um, I had some problems uh, with this stuff coming out. And so I just take a daub of hot glue and run it around the edge of this hole and then drop my little plastic piece down in there. And that should fix it. So that looks like that's ready. I've had to do this before, so it probably won't be the last either. But all right. So this is our left wing, and so what you're going to want to do. Um, for the first part here um, is to slide your uh, slide your carbon spar through. So what you're going to want to do is take your spar and there's a little hole right here. You're just going to want to run it through there like that. And then Take your wing. I'm going to put this around here. Do you see what I'm doing? You don't want to. There's a deal here where your hole goes for your spar. You want to slide that through. You want to be gentle with it. You want to. Slide that through here, and then you get about three inches away from your airplane. You're going to want to connect your uh, leads here and then tuck the excess cord back into the hole. There. And you can just slide it in there. And that's it on that wing. And I'll get my screwdriver out here. Um, sometimes the metric works, but sometimes you gotta use a star bit. So the long screw goes to the front. Show us for my camera a little bit here. So the long screw goes in the front, and the short screw goes in the back. So I'm just going to get that one started, and we're going to go ahead and put these on. Just go ahead and screw them in until they're nice and tight. A ratcheting screwdriver would be nice if you have one. Because you don't want to strip these metrics out because they strip pretty easily. Alright, 
So I'm going to move my camera again here, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with these pins. All right, so there's these holes right here, and you're going to want to push these out. If you had another person with you, it would help a lot. And so you're going to want to have to lift up on this wing in order to uh, fulfill that deal. So I'll just go ahead and show you what I'm going to do here. So I have my pins. I'm going to take them out. I'm going to lift up with one arm on this wing. Drop it down all the way through. Through there like that for this first one. And then just take your pin and go through and you're done. So let's go ahead and get this back one. Lift up, shut it down. Through there, this back one's just for support. The front one's more, has a more vital purpose. All right, pass this one through here. If you have big fingers, this is pretty bad because, oh no, my camera fell down. Here, I'm sorry about that. Gonna move this out. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and put this pin in if I can get it. There, there you go. Alright, as of now, this wing is done. I'm gonna kind of show you this on this side, kind of where what the scoop is. And you want to make sure you can push this bar over just a tad bit, just to make sure that's in in place there. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our other wing here. This one's got a little more dihedral in it because I had a friend over and uh, he hit it with a basketball. So, all right. So you want to pull your leads out just a little bit, not a tremendous amount. And uh, we're going to go ahead and line our spar up with our wing hole. We kind of want to have a twisting motion with the saw blade. This ain't working fast right here. So let's just clean this out. Just line this out. Try to come through here. Go ahead and connect our, this is my, yep, this is my ailerons, my flaps here. And just tuck this other stuff inside. We'll kind of roll this in a little bit. Get that going. And then right in like that, you're good. All right, so. I'm gonna move my camera again. So, I'll just show you what these look like right there and there. I'll go ahead and grab our screws. Here's one, here's two, and we'll, this is the long one. The long one goes in the front, short goes in the back. Getting them started a little bit. And grab our screwdriver and just start going on them. Some of these I may have to get the metric set that's over there. So we'll just wait to find out here. When they get going, I just want to try not to strip it. Alright. Start in here on this back one. Doesn't I'm gonna go here. There it goes. A dog gets sleeping over there snoring if you can't hear it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get this going here. Well, that one got tight quick. There we go. Alrighty, whoa. A bit come out of here. There we go. Alrighty. So the screws are in. So let's go ahead and put these pins in again. So we'll go ahead and line our camera up here. 
I'm using my GoPro for my camera, so my other, my video camera, it is down. I can't find the card for it. So I'm just going to pull this up. Come over here and stick our pin in. Whoa. Like I said, big fingers with little pins are not the best. We'll just pop that through there and turn it so it's out of our way. And get this other one out. Lift our wing up here. Push down. Get it in the hole. We'll be okay. Alrighty. Let's find my hole here. Here it is. Alrighty, people. That one is in. And the wings are on. So that is ready to go. I'll probably go ahead and just turn it on. And go ahead and turn it on and uh, show you what it looks like here. So I'm going to get my battery out here. And if you don't have one of these, you need one. Um, it's, it's a case. You can get them at Harbor Freight or something. I got this one for 20 bucks. You know, it's got little dividers in it. You know, you just got your stuff. You can turn this knob. I got all my manuals and stuff back there, extra parts. So, and you need one of these too. You need one of these little battery checkers because that's vital to your situation. So, got our 7,000. Connexus battery. Let's go ahead and grab our DX6. Turn your transmitter on first. I'm sure it's still in the Prometheus, so I'll have to switch that over. And, uh, you know, okay. I don't know any six cell battery that has an EC3 connector, so I had to get an adapter to an EC5. Alright, so we'll just put that in there and I'm going to set you guys up here for a minute. Go ahead and connect these. Yeah, so I got to switch this over. It'll be quiet. There we go. Thank you, sir. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and turn this on. All right, so everything looks good. That new rudder. All righty. I know your transmitter is low battery. Alrighty, well, that's it on that part. Um, every now and again, I, uh, I'll go through here and just check everything, tighten screws, stuff like that. And that usually uh, helps a lot um, when you have you know, you've been sitting a while, or you pull quite a few G's. Let's see what happened there. All right. Well, um, like I said, uh, go through and tighten my screws and stuff on there. Um, especially, I know I shut you off. All righty. Like I said, just I'll tighten my spinner screw. I'll go in there and tighten my cowl screws in there. Um, definitely my landing gear and my wheels. Um, I'll go up under here and tighten all of them screws every now and again. Oh my, we got a cobweb on my airplane. That usually don't happen very much because usually I'm flying, but it's been crappy weather, so I haven't had... Oh, that's hot glue. Never mind. Nope, I'll just go ahead and grab this stuff and pull that off.
So as you can see, if the camera will pick it up, there's a whole bunch of holes and stuff in my wing. No, I do not abuse my airplanes. That's just rocks. Prop throws them up, and if you can see that right there, it rolls all the way back and then off. So, yep, this is my new rudder. Like I said before, let's see if I can lift this up here a little bit. That little piece right here, that little circle thing where that screw screws into, that was broke off. So I had to get a whole new rudder and screw that on. So, well, uh, that's pretty much it on this plane. Um, like I said on the Prometheus, uh, I got put a new prop on it because it had a couple nicks in it. So that prop's brand new, never been run. And then that Corsair, poor old girl. So, um, any questions, just ask. Um, I'll go ahead and wrap this one up. We'll see you later, guys.